The fun continues at the Minnesota State Fair. The fair is underway through Labor Day and people have already shown up. Take a look, we're in the dairy barn and there are people waiting in line for the malts, the yogurt, the cheese, the sundaes, and the milk, of course. And it's hot in here too. A lot of folks here already though, and we have a lot of vendors set up in this area. So if you're interested in doing a little shopping at the State Fair, you can do that here. We're right now at a bow fishing guide service, and you said you do come down to the Rochester area and beyond a little bit. Absolutely. We're down in that area, and we okay. love being down there. Plenty of fish, plenty of ones to find. Okay, so for folks that come here at the fair, what can they learn from your booth? Well, we're teaching them about what carp does ultimately is how destructive it is to the environment and how removing them can be really helpful. It's okay. really a win-win. Oh, wow. Okay, so you're basically bow fishing for carp? Yeah, well, okay. all rough fish species are available, but carp is always our primary target. Sure. Okay, so you're helping out a little bit. And you have some giveaways here. Explain some of those. Well, we're giving away a trip for two to anyone who's down here for our drawing. That's They can enter into it. And then, of course, obviously, we're talking and explaining the benefits of bow fishing. So I've never been bow fishing. I do a fair amount of fishing, but not bow fishing. How can you get started in bow fishing? It's absolutely fun. Guiding is the best way to get started. We take you out. We provide all the bows and equipment. We teach you how to do it. And the end of the night, we get rid of all the fish so you don't have to dig okay, holes. Okay, okay. And I didn't get your first and last name. I'm Kurt Sish with Edge Bow Fishing. Okay, Kurt, thank you so much. You can check them out right here at the Dairy Building, the big blue tent with the uh, big boat here and the mannequins. I like the mannequins up there. They kind of startled me when I first walked in. But yeah. thank you both. Have a good time at the fair. Will you be here the entire fair? The entire fair. I'll okay, be here. Hey, have fun. Stay cool. You have a fan on you, that's nice. So let's take a look at some of the other vendors here. I think we have Jamie right over here. And Jamie is from Dallas, Texas. Hello, how are you? I'm well, how okay, are you? Good, good. So you go to many fairs throughout the country. We do, we okay. do. We do a total of it, I um, would say six or seven. Okay, and you're going to Iowa after this? We were in Iowa. Oh, you just were at the Iowa State Fair? Yes, okay. we did, yeah. And what do you sell? Leather, uh, leather goods, from cow hides to uh, cow hide bags, leather bags, lampshades, pillows, calf hides. You sell it all. We sell everything how, every day. How did you get started in selling cow hides? Well, this is a family business, and it's, we come from Texas, mm -hmm. and we've been in for about 30 years in, in the same business. So and when we rugs. when we see these hides, does this come when they butcher the cows? You this are interested in the hide. It is the last uh, process of the of the cow. Okay. And what do people do when they purchase these? Are these rugs? They go on the floor. Okay. Um, furniture. Okay. Um, uh, Decorative. Walls. Yeah. yeah Most yeah. of home decor. Will you be here the entire fair? We will be here until Sunday. Yes. Until Sunday. Okay. And we are in the dairy building. This is the dairy building. Yes. All right. All right. Well, hopefully in, in five years. Oh wow! It's been good. Business it's has always, been good here. It's always there's a lot of uh, commerce. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you came from Dallas, and the money's so good up here, you keep coming back. We'll keep coming back. Okay. Yeah, at least so far is good. Yeah. Jamie, and what was your last name, Jamie? Toto. Okay. Thank you yes. so much. You're welcome. Thank Great you. to meet you, Jamie. So another vendor here at the Minnesota State Fair. Here's our bow fishing right over here. Again, we are in the dairy building. So this is the building where the butter carving is taking place. And we have the Minnesota Beef Council right next to the hides. And we have a few people hanging out playing Planko. How are you, Bailey? Good, how are you? So I'm told you're you're an intern here with the yes, Beef Council? Yes, I'm okay. a communications intern for the Minnesota oh, Beef Council. Fantastic, where are you from? I'm from Kimball, Minnesota, so just oh, wow. south of St. Cloud. Okay. I live on my family's beef farm out there. Oh, you do? Fantastic. So how did you become a part of the Beef Council? So I became part of it because I've always worked with the Beef Council. I grew up being a Minnesota beef ambassador, so I love advocating for the beef industry. Okay, so we're playing a little Plinko here. We have some kids. Yes. So were you guys playing Plinko? Yeah. How did you do? Good. Bye. Did you win something? Yeah. Oh my goodness, are you a Vikings fan? Who do you have? Oh, Justin Jefferson? Yeah. Is he your favorite player? Yeah. He is. That's exciting. How did you do on Plinko? Um, good. You did pretty well. What is your name? Riley. And how old are you, Riley? Nine. Nine. What is your name? Hallie. Hallie. And how old are you? Eleven. And who's this? Is this your brother? No, that's our cousin, Matthew. Okay. So he's playing Plinko right now. Yeah. Okay. So we got two. What does that mean? Ooh, we have to answer a question. How many beef farmers and ranchers are in Minnesota? 16,000, you got it right! <laughs> he got it right! Oh, wow! Good guess. That's impressive! 16,000! Wow. 
<laughs> That's a lot of farmers and ranchers it in the is. state of Minnesota. And that was from a couple years ago. So we think it's closer okay. to 18,000 now, which actually. Is good, which yes. is good. What are some things that the Beef Council does for the state of Minnesota? So the Beef Council is in charge of promotion about beef. So we like to inform people about the quality of beef how you can cook it, and we always have plenty of recipes. So if you check out mmbeef.org, we got all the recipes for you, from summer grilling to your winter prime ribs. Okay, and when you think of Minnesota, you have a lot of farmers here, but actually, where does Minnesota rank in beef exports in the U.S.? Okay, so we rank 10th in beef exports. That's pretty high though. Yes, that's pretty good. That's actually how many, how, where we rank with number of beef cattle too. Okay. So we have the number 10 state. All right. That's pretty good. This booth will be here throughout the fair. Absolutely. Okay. Come check us out. So we can come play Plinko when, why don't I, is that okay if I play? Absolutely. I love Plinko. Do you guys like Price oh, is Right? Love it. Love the it. best love game it. on the Price is Right. Let's see. Oh, I have to answer a question after this, don't I? Oh, I think I know that answer. <laughs> How many beef farmers? I don't know this. Choice? Yes. <laughs> That's the only one I know. <laughs> so when you check out your beef at the grocery store, there's always a quality grade on it. So there's three. Oh, select. Okay. Prime, and then choice and select. So prime is your highest one to select your lowest one. So I got one out of three. Is yeah, that? You can take the prize. <laughs> what are the prizes? Do you want a cowboy hat or the measuring spoon? Oh, I like a measuring spoon. Thank so you so much. Yeah. With a beef recipe on the side. To so I'm. I measure my spices here. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you so much, Bailey. Thank you. Appreciate it. Will you be here a lot of the fair? Most of the fair, yeah, Most about half. Okay, come see Bailey. She'll give you a prize. You can play some Plinko right over here with the Minnesota Beef Council. All right, I think it's time for a break, but just to show you, <laughs> the people have shown up to the Minnesota State Fair that is now underway and runs through Labor Day. We will have much more coming up on Midwest Access from the Minnesota State Fair, but as I mentioned, we have to take a break. We'll be right back.